Europe. You know, if we do get Nintendo 64 games on the Nintendo Switch, there are a couple games that I would like to see. First off, Diddy Kong Racing and Conker's Bad Fur Day would be really cool, with online support as well. Though, Xbox would have to give the A-OK -okay on that, but other games like Donkey Kong 64 or Paper Mario 64 would be really cool. Oh, and we can't forget about Kirby 64 as well, and you know what? Let's throw in Clover 64, because why not? What games would you want? Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the RoboChan Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the latest gaming news from Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony that includes a new controller from Nintendo, Nintendo 64 games coming to the Nintendo Switch online service, another big acquisition from Xbox, which is a rumor by the way, and the end of the PS5 controversy with it being too hot and all. There are a lot more, so make sure you stick around. And if you enjoyed this video, it would be very helpful if you could leave a like, and if you want to follow me on Twitter and help me reach my goal of 800 followers, you can follow me at Roborob93. Without further delay, let's get to the news. So first up, we have a rating for a series that I think will get some of you guys really excited, especially if you enjoy Castlevania from the era of the Game Boy Advance, or you just enjoy Metroid type game. It seems the Castlevania Advance Collection was rated in Australia a good couple months ago, and this article, by the way, was dated for June 2nd, 2021, but that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is the new rating. It seems that Castlevania Advance Collection has been rated in Taiwan. Now, the publisher for this is Konami, and the author was M2. According to Nintendo Life, they are best known in recent years for releasing various retro classics on the Nintendo Switch. Now as to what consoles this is coming to, it's coming to the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch, which will no doubt be either announced in a random trailer drop or the next Nintendo Direct whenever that's going to be. Tell me if you guys are interested in this collection down in the comment section below. And moving on to the next story for today, it seems that the Nintendo leaker Sam's Hunter has spotted an application by Nintendo that is titled Nintendo Game Controller. Quick side note, it was published very recently, just yesterday. This is what Nintendo Life had to say. Applied for by Nintendo Co. LTD, the new product's FCC ID is BKEHACO43, which gives us our first clue as to what product this could be. Hack is the code that's used for all Nintendo Switch products. The Switch itself has Hack001 written on the back. The left Joy-Con is Hack015. Ring Fit Adventure Ring Con is Hack022, and so on. Proving that Hack043, a section of the ID chosen by the applicant, is referring to something Switch related. So basically what that all means is as long as it has the words hack on it, it usually is Switch related. If anyone was a little confused on what they were saying, even I got a little confused at first. Now this is very important because it could be related to the current rumor of Nintendo 64 games coming to the Nintendo Switch online service. Nintendo Life says that the product code for the SNES controller made by Nintendo also has the same type of product code, the hack sign. <laughs> <laughs> that pun wasn't intended, but it worked. But anyways, it has the same sign as the Nintendo Switch SNES controller. Now this is gonna all make sense once we cover the next topic, which is the Nintendo 64 games. There is a big conclusion where everything connects very perfectly. Which brings us to our next topic on today's show, and that's Nintendo 64 games could be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now that's very important that you guys understand that it could be coming. This is a rumor right now. Now in the last episode of the Robochon show, we did cover other words by Nintendo leaker Nate Drake, who revealed that Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games could be coming to Nintendo Switch, which top 10 on that will be coming soon, by the way. But what if Nintendo has more plans for the Nintendo Switch online service, and not just Nintendo 64 games, price-wise too as well? Well, recently, Eurogamer has added to this conversation when it comes to the virtual console for the Nintendo Switch online service, and this is what they have to say. This video could really become a drinking game at this point with how many times I've said Nintendo. But anyways, this is what Eurogamer has to say. Eurogamer went one step further, having noted that additional platforms Platforms will be added to the Nintendo Switch online service in the future. And today I would like to add that yes, that information is correct, and one of the platforms that will be coming to the Nintendo Switch online in the future is the revolutionary Nintendo 64. Now Nate Drake has chimed in even further and elaborated on what he has to say about the Nintendo Switch online service and Nintendo 64 games, and what he says is pretty interesting. What I'm going to propose is that when Nintendo 64 games comes to Nintendo Switch online service, it's going to be at a higher price tier, a premium version of Nintendo Switch online if you 
will. I don't think they would try to double the price. I'd come in at $30 a year or $35 would be the ceiling. Any more than that and I think Nintendo would be pushing things. Now it's important to note that it sounds like he's speculating when he's talking about the price so I don't think that's considered a rumor but we'll see what happens. Now when you pair this info with the recent file patent for a possible Nintendo 64 controller you can kind of see how Nintendo could potentially go about this. And keep in mind this is just speculation based on what we have right now. A likely scenario that I could see is Nintendo announcing the Nintendo 64 games are coming to Nintendo Switch along with Game Boy Color games and Game Boy games. To get access to these games you're going to have to pay a higher price tier for the Nintendo Switch online service and you'll have all those games in one. Then they'll probably throw in a Nintendo 64 inspired classic controller like they did with the SNES games, more than likely revealed at a Nintendo Direct. Now whether that be the current rumored Nintendo Direct for September or later down the line remains to be seen. Video on what I think will be shown at that Nintendo Direct will be in the top right corner of this video if you want to watch that video, just click that link. Moving on to the next bit of Nintendo news, it seems that the Nintendo Switch has a price cut in Europe, which apparently was a rumor at first, but now it's official. The price is now cheaper than before than it was in Europe, and one thing that you guys do have to understand is that this is not coming to the United States, unlike the Joy-Con price cut that we saw a while ago. With that being said, as it gets older and it gets cheaper to make, it will probably go down eventually. I definitely think Nintendo will do a price cut for the Nintendo Switch later down the line, and as a result, it's going to get cheaper in Europe as well. We saw this with plenty of Nintendo Switch systems, so it's no doubt going to be part of Nintendo Switch's future. And keeping up with the Nintendo news, Bluetooth is finally added to the Nintendo Switch. This is something that has been a long time coming, and I'm surprised Nintendo didn't add it a long time ago. So now, if you guys want to connect those Bluetooth headphones you have sitting on that desk, you can now. This is actually really good for portable mode, because sometimes having headphones with a long wire can cause problems when you're trying to move the Nintendo Switch around, or it gets caught on something as you're walking. And that's all for the Nintendo news. Now, if you Nintendo fans are not interested in Xbox or Sony news, you can click the top right corner of this video and watch another video of mine that's called the top 10 Nintendo 64 games that should come to the Nintendo Switch online service. And if not, let's continue. So we know that Xbox has been acquiring studios left and right and making a lot of great moves when it comes to securing different studios and announcing different games for their platforms. The last big one that really shook the gaming world was Bethesda, which is a rumor guys, so make sure you don't go into this believing it, but keep your eyes out for an announcement by Xbox. Now with that being said, there are multiple people hearing this right now, so it might happen. Just keep your eyes out. And I do have to say, it's great to see Xbox giving a reason to buy an Xbox Series X or invest into one of their Xbox platforms, but buying these studios and showing up with CGI trailers is not. We need to see gameplay from these games, which I think we will eventually see it, but even if they were to show up with gameplay from games like Fable and Perfect Dark, I'd say they waited too long. Showing up to E3 2021 with more CGI trailers and then Gamescom with more CGI trailers isn't exactly the best plan. I mean, how long can they count on Game Pass? At some point, it would be nice to see gameplay on these games that you say you have. And I'm talking full-on gameplay segments like we had at the recent State of Play. And moving on to the next piece of news, it seems that the PlayStation revision does perform the same as the first model that came out at launch. Some people have actually found out that it performed better in some ways than the first model compared to the revision. There was this huge controversy with Austin Evans, a huge tech channel that says it was worse than the first model that came out. And really the only thing I could say on that is that he should have tested even further. He is a tech channel, so doing these things thoroughly is something that he should be doing. Especially for a channel his size, what he says does have an effect on things. In other words, water is wet, right? Sony knows what they're doing, but I gotta say I am glad that we don't have another Red Ring of Death situation because I have lost an Xbox to that. Could you imagine the colossal disaster that Sony would have caused if it did have a similar situation? Microsoft lost a lot of money, I'm sure, on those Xboxes. And that's all of the news we have for today. What do you guys think about today's topics? Do you think Nintendo 64 games are coming to Nintendo Switch? What do you think about the N64 Classic controller? What about Xbox buying new studios? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more gaming news. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.